Hi there, my name is Aaron Short and welcome to my YouTube channel and today I'm checking out the Neural DSP Quad Cortex Gig Case. So the Quad Cortex is finally shipping and arriving to customers and it's such a great looking unit with a gorgeous touchscreen that you definitely want to look after it and protect it. I know I do. I was looking for a case to keep this in even at home when I'm not using it just to protect it and I'm really happy that Neural have released the Gig Case to go alongside release of the unit. So let's take a closer look. So as you can see, it looks very nice. It has this kind of weave to it, which is not agreeing with my camera right now, so apologies for that. But it looks great in person, and it has the logo on the front. Now, this could be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on how you feel, because of course, if someone knows this is a quad cortex, they may run away with it. Anyway, that aside, it looks great, and you can see it's very well padded. Now, this is not as sturdy as like a flight case, of course, but it will protect better than like a soft case, of course. So you've got a handle on top. The handle is made great as well. The quality here is excellent. It is kind of tight. The weight of the pedal will pull that down to give you clearance as you walk with it. It's, it feels a little bit on the tight side, but I think it's okay and it should loosen up over time. The places where the strap goes are really well connected as well. The quality is excellent for the price. And I realized when I looked at the zippers here that this is made by Access and Access make really good quality stuff. So that was a great move from Neural DSP to work with access cases. Okay, let's take a look inside. The zippers work very smoothly. And I do have my quad cortex in here. It fits perfectly as you would expect. And there's this kind of gap in the back where you can put your hand to remove the quad cortex, which is great. Like I said, it fits absolutely perfectly. And there's that gap to put your hand to remove it. Excuse the fingerprints on the screen. There's a space here for your power supply and also maybe a few other things. There's an extra space there. But that's what I would keep in there to keep it safe. Absolutely perfect. And under here, you've got some Velcro holding this cover. It's actually really hard to remove the first time. There we go. Inside here, you've got your strap. And you also have a space then to put some cables and things in here. Maybe some papers on there and that will keep them covered up like that. So the quality is excellent, and I highly recommend this thing. Having said that, you may want something else. And I completely understand that you may want something else, especially because the quad cortex is so small in the first place. So if you find a case that you prefer for less money, please let me know in the comments below. But I think this is a great option for anyone that wants to protect their investment. Having said that, I want to show you my Mono Tick Bag 2.0. And again, I'll put an affiliate link below in the description. This is lighter, more affordable, and it clips onto the back of a mono gig bag. So you could carry the whole rig on your back in one go. Of course, it's not as well padded, so do bear that in mind. But the Quad Cortex actually fits perfectly into this case. And there's space here for some business cards and some pens and pencils in there. And if I put it inside this one, you can see that it fits perfectly in this bag, and there's even a little space there for the power supply. Do be careful of this zipper here. I'd probably get some foam, because there's actually more space on top. I'd probably put some foam on top, and then put the power supply in there or at the end. But this could be a great option if you want to carry it on your back with your mono guitar case. So there's that one there. Again, I'll put links below. If you find something you like, please let me know in the comments below as well. But I definitely think it's a good idea to have something to protect that screen and protect the pedal once we start going out and rehearsing and gigging again. So definitely, definitely check these out. I'm really happy with the official case and that's what I'll be using most of the time. So thanks for watching. If you're new here, please subscribe and ring the bell for future videos and live streams. And I'll see you next time. Take care and be well. Bye-bye.